chart right here. This is um, pot odds expressed as x to 1. So let's say you're making a, let's say the pot is, um, the pot is 18. Somebody bets $1 on 18 for some ridiculous reason, yeah? And that guy is effectively giving you 19 to 1 pot odds to make a call. So that means your break even equity needed for that is 5%, namely 1 time in 20. All right, so 100 divided by 5 is 20. 1 time in 20 expressed as odds against is 19 to 1. Again, read that, read that Wikipedia article um, for the different exacts on that. Uh, let's get down here to a scenario where you're getting 7 to 1. Uh, and this is akin to um, the odds of you hitting an ace or a king on the next card. Let's say, for example, uh, you make that you make that steel race here with the uh, ace king, right? And you just get called cold, right, from the big blind. You miss the flop, and now you've got two over cards. Right? That's more or less here with six outs, as you see. Six point eight to one, or twelve point seven percent. Just to make it very simple, seven to one. Whenever you're getting seven to one odds. Right, you need 12% to make that call in the long run. Whenever you're getting, for example, 4 to 1 odds, you only need 19% equity to break even in the very long run. You're going to have that 19% equity when you're on a 9 out draw, as you see here. Right? Almost exactly 4.2 to 1. And yeah, that's a break even equity you need to make that call. With the flush draw, you do have nine outs, if they're all clean outs. Um, and the probability of hitting your, your draw is 19%, right? So the odds against hitting that are four to one, right? Or one time in 5.22, you're going to hit one of your nine outs on the turn. If you're on the turn, the odds of hitting one of your nine outs coming into the river is a little bit better, because there's one less card in the deck, more or less four to one. If you're to push, with nine outs on the flop, right? That means you're going to be able to see two cards for the price of one. Probability of hitting one of those nine outs within two cards is basically 35%, right? expressed as odds against 1.86. Okay. In order to to bring this point home, then I want to look at these um, these tables here. Um, bluff success. So let's say, for example, you're on the flop, you just bet one quarter pot, uh, thinking you'll be able to take it down with that. You need your opponent to fold 20% of the time in order to make that a positive expected value move in the long run. So you bet, um, let's say, for example, um, you bet uh, 20 into an $80 pot. So you're betting, again, one quarter of that pot, your opponent has to fold 20% of the time for you to break even. When you make that $20 bet into 80, your villain, your opponent, is getting pot odds, right, of 5 to 1 at that point. So basically, 80 for the pot, 20 for your bet, right, which for him now is in 100 to his one call, which is 20, right, so he's getting 5 to 1. That means in order for him to break even in the long run, he has to win one time in 6. That expresses a percentage is 16.7%. When you then make a one-third pot, uh, bluff. Um, take another scenario. You've got it's a seventy-five dollar pot. You bet twenty-five on it, in the hopes that your opponent folds. You need him to fold twenty-five percent of the time to make that a positive EV move in the long run. Okay. When you make that twenty-five dollar bet into the seventy-five dollar pot, your buddy is then or your opponent is then getting four to one odds. These odds, four to one, expressed as a percentage is twenty percent. Okay, let's let's play with this a little bit. Uh, 100 divided by 20 is what? Good, 5. 5 minus 1 is 4. 4 to 1. 1 time in 5. This comes with time. You'll, you'll be in live situations, uh, not just online, where you can, of course, use these kind of calculators. You're on one table. You've, you know, at this point, then played, you know, thousands and thousands, even hundreds of thousands of hands uh, online. And, you know, you've seen every scenario. You know, more or less, and uh, when you're able then to concentrate fully on one table, um, this is just you know this is just second nature at one point, right? So you're gonna you're gonna know these numbers 
just like the back of your hand. Okay, but in order to get there, you know, it, it does take a bit of uh, a bit of practice. Also working with the numbers, um, and you can get there. Of course, there's not a single poker player in the world that just got this immediately the first time he saw it. Um, it takes some time. Don't be discouraged. But this, I mean, if nothing else, you know, it's uh, this is super super important. Right? This is the basis of making so-called good calls uh, and good folds. Let's take another example. This is a very typical C bet scenario. Um, you're playing and again these, you know, infamous uh, cards here. This big slick ace king. You make your steel raise three bucks on the button. Uh, you get three bet from the from the big blinds. You call a six and you just call it cold. Okay, for some reason or another. Um, you miss hard, right? Of course, as you're going to 66% of the time, and the button then um, bets it out. Okay, and he bets two thirds pot. We don't know if he hit or not. Doesn't matter. In this case, we're getting 2.5 to one odds because of his two third pot size. That means in order to make that call, if we were to push all in, we need 28.6 percent equity to do so. Um, we don't have that with six outs. We've got 24 percent. So that's what that looks like with six outs, basically two over cards, making that call against a two-thirds C-bet pot size. Uh, you're essentially losing in the long run every time you make that call. Uh, if you're just banking on Ace King or having to hit to win, you may also be ahead if he's making a bluff, for example. Uh, maybe he's playing Ace Jack, Ace Queen. You know, you're actually ahead. You know, and then he's on a he's on a draw all of a sudden. Um, so these are all things to consider when you're playing your hands. Um, and I hope that is a very, very again, very, very brief overview of of how you can use these calculators, how it uh, applies to pot odds as such. I hope that's very, very clear uh, and useful for your game. These are the odds in general of Big Slick.